Well, joining us now is Susan Smith, co-director for Women Scotland. Susan, great to have you on board. Now, do you think this census is, is needed? No, not in the way that it's been set up. Um, To be very clear, what we are talking about is not sex education, and it's not um, looking at where the um, harms to children come from. It's a piece of paper that has just been set down in front of kids. They're asked to tick all these boxes. There's no support behind it. There's a lack of information on the purpose, and there's a lack of information on the follow-up because... On the one hand, the government is trying to claim it's confidential, but the um, children are supposed to put in their unique um, uh, candidate number so that it all can be traced back to them. The government says that's in case of abuse, but we don't even know what they're characterising as abuse within this survey. So this is... There are so many issues with this and the lack of an ethical review and the lack of a structure is is the main thing. This needs to be scrapped. They need to go for a better, more child-centered design with the support, uh, the support mechanisms in place. I completely agree with you when it comes to confidentiality and the fact that the answers could be traced back. And that being the case, how do you know you'd even get the honest answers from students? But do you see that there needs to be some sort of survey that we can finally measure the impact of hypersexualization of society, the pornification of society is having on young people? Because the odd surveys done here and there, social surveys in newspaper, reveal astonishing results. We know that there's rape culture going on. In schools, you just have to look at pop music videos to see how much and how rapidly things have changed. And surely it's about time we did ask about the sex lives of teenagers to find out if they need our protection. Well, I think you've partly answered that because we do know we we have quite a lot of information um, about what is happening to girls. There was a survey reported in December um, that one in five. Scottish schoolgirls have been sexually assaulted and three in five have faced harassment. 